Welcome to the show. I'm Kathy Ireland. How does an entrepreneur go from teaching high school to creating a $50 million business and a worldwide brand? Marilee Kick, CEO and founder of Southern Champion, joins us today to tell her success story and describe her company's unique approach. Welcome, Marilee. Thank you. Thank you so much for the invitation, Kathy. So, Marilee, tell us what was your life like before you started your business? Well, it was about nine, ten years ago. Um, I was working two jobs. I was a high school teacher in Plano, Texas. Um, working two jobs, getting my master's degree, raising two children. So uh, I was worried financially about my future and um, needed to do something quick. That's kind of the start of it all. Marilee, tell us how you built your company from the ground up. Well, it, it was difficult because it's a highly regulated industry. Right. And so I had to get permits and to get permits, you had to have warehousing and you had to have all the legal knowledge. And mm -hmm. I ha had to do a lot of research. Right. Um, so a lot of data mining, a lot of figuring out how to make a container um, and how to keep the pounds per square inch of pressure for every right. carbonated drink in there and yeah. make sure it didn't spoil, make sure the light didn't affect it, um, what was the shelf life, you know, all of those kinds of research right. things. Um, and then I had to find companies that could help me do it, you know, and good people. Mm -hmm. um, and I didn't have any money, so I paid myself nothing and I hired people off Craigslist and, oh. you know, I, I got it kicked wow. off, hired my sons. You know, so it was just one of those things, you know, just to get it kicked off was kind of a feat in itself. Was this hard to, to be a female entrepreneur in this industry? Well, you know what's funny is I had no idea that I was a pioneer mm -hmm. on this. Um, I knew it was a male dominated industry because when I went to the banks to ask for money, they all told me no. They said, it's a good old boys club. You'll never make it. You're just a teacher. You don't have any assets. You don't have any money. You don't have any collateral. You, you don't have any experience in the industry, you know, and it's a good old boys network. How are you gonna get in? Mm. And I said, I don't know. So that's, I think part of the thing is you have to have some relationships with people and I didn't have any. Right. Um, but somehow I convinced this bank to give me a small loan and I convinced a distributor, um, Southern Glaciers, at the time they were called Glaciers Wholesale. And there was a guy that worked there. His name was Blair Casey. And he was like, wow, that's cool. I've never seen anything like that. And I hit him at the right time. And so he, he took my brand in, decided to distribute it for me. So he gave me a chance in Texas where my home base was. Mm -hmm. And um, I got the brand started in Texas and then he allowed me to expand into other states. And it's now 10 years later and now Blair Casey works for us wow. as our head of sales. Wow, yeah, that's so it's pretty awesome, Aww. you know. So um, it's come full circle, but um, at first I had to be vertically integrated, do everything myself. I knew from the very first time that uh, I met with Marilee that this was gonna be one of those fun and special relationships in our industry, which was why we've continued to expand with the brand. Marilee is just this force of nature. She brings a lot of fun to the business. She's hired great people. And, and this is really one of our best supplier relationships. Marilee has had a very interesting career, a lot of jobs. Uh, one of them was being a teacher. So she has that personality where she knows how to get along with people and deal with people. And then she opened up her facility right near our office, which is an amazing manufacturing facility, very impressive. And it's, uh, it's really very impressive that somebody coming from her background could build a company like this. It's unusual, it's pretty rare, we don't see it that often, but Mary Lee has done a phenomenal job and has been a great employer for a lot of people, for former students, former people she knew. So all in all, she's, she's just done a wonderful job in this industry. Marilee, what do you think female entrepreneurs need to be successful? I think they have to have the ability to research. I think they have to have a good gut instinct about people mm -hmm. and know who to trust. Mm -hmm. um, because a lot of times, um, I think as women especially, we don't trust our instinct. We um, assume that that little voice inside our head or that feeling inside our gut must be wrong because everybody else likes them so much 
or this person just seems to be a good trusted person. Mm -hmm. They're an icon, and they, but it, it can be a problem if, if you don't trust that inner voice. Right. And a lot of times we doubt our own selves and then we end up kicking ourselves later saying, you know, I should have known better. Right. Um, so I think trust your instinct is one huge thing. Trust your gut. Um, even if you don't know the answer, especially if you don't know the answer, trust your gut. Mm. You know, mm -hmm. because there's not a black and white on everything. Um, get involved in groups, um, mentorship groups. Um, have some kind of sales ability. You've got to be able to do face-to-face -face sales with people and get them to believe in you and try. Right. Um, and how did you do that? Was, was there anyone who inspired you? You know what I think it is, is um, I grew up in Montana on a farm and you had to do everything yourself. You know, you rolled up your sleeves, you did everything. And if it's going to get seen through, you're going to be the one that sees it through. Mm -hmm. um, so you can't uh, rely on other people a lot of times. Um, so in terms of, you know, like how did I make it work? You know, I think it was just roll up your sleeves, make it work, push through and mm -hmm. check the boxes, get it done. Right. right. What advice do you have for women who want to start their own businesses? Have a buyer before you go to the bank. <laughs> um, have multiple buyers if possible. You know, I think that was one of the things that almost killed my business was running out of cash before um, I had another buyer. Mm -hmm. I had one buyer and they were a great buyer, but I needed more buyers um, to keep it afloat. So um, understand cash flow, understand accounting, understand where the money's coming from, how much it costs you to do business understand that you're going to be the one creating the marketing plans and you are the brand you are the brand you know so it's it's not that your product is cool it's that you exude the confidence in that brand and people love the funny things about that brand right. they can relate to that it's like a human to them mm -hmm. you know so right, exactly yeah. well you are a beautiful and powerful brand I think it's uh, important to have a women-owned brand represented at my store because uh, we all have uh, women in our lives, our mothers, our, our daughters, uh, sisters, uh, our wives, and it's important to have good role models for them. And so uh, companies now are looking at uh, what, what's their mission, uh, what does their brand stand for. Um, it's important for them to figure out how to retain talent, recruit people, mentor, coach, yeah, and women are, are really good at building teams and building families. Giving back to the community is important to you. Can you talk about that? Um, well, my parents were both science teachers, so they mm -hmm. did a lot of gifted and talented science types of things. So I do give scholarship money to um, students for that, for inventive science students. But then I also give to um, a broader charity. Um, uh, I, I, there's one in Dallas called New Friends New Life, but it's about human trafficking and sex trafficking, and that's really important to me. Um, I see it rampant, and you know, like for example, in the streets of Dallas, there's 400 girls between 12 and 14 that are trafficked every night. And so it just breaks my heart. So what I do as a business is we give back. We we give money, of course, and, and clothing and you know donations, and try to give them a yeah. way to get off the streets, have some um, food, have a bed, have health insurance, you know, right. those kinds of things, you know, just to start a new life again and try to have a second chance, you know. So, oh, um, cool. you know, everybody has to give a little bit, right. you know. What do you find most rewarding about your work? Well, uh, making money is awesome, but the, the cool thing that makes me feel good is family legacy. Um, my whole family works for the business. Um, my husband, um, my sons work for us, my daughter-in-law works for us, my cousin, you know, uh, we have a whole bunch of family that works for the company, but we've got a hundred employees. Um, and what makes me feel good is when I pull into that lot every day and see those cars in the lot, it makes me feel good that we brought these jobs to these people and they're very, they're supporting their families with that. So that, that makes me feel good. Good. Well, Marilee, it sounds like Southern Champion has brands with wide appeal and your business success is truly admirable. Thank you for joining Thank us. Thank you Congratulations. so much. I appreciate the opportunity. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you for watching. I'm Kathy Ireland. Mm -hmm.